So let us find the derivative of the function x squared plus 4x minus 1 at the point 2, 11. So we would like to get the slope of the tangent line at x is equal to 2. To recall, using the limit process, this is how we get the derivative of a function. And to get the derivative at x is equal to 2, we need to do f prime of 2 is equal to the limit of f of 2 plus delta x minus f of 2. Since we already know the value of x that we would like to get the derivative, so we just need to substitute 2 to our x variable here. Over delta x as delta x approaches 0. So we have f prime of 2 is equal to the limit as delta x approaches 0 of we have f of x plus delta x. Therefore, we're going to substitute 2 plus delta x to our x variable in the given equation. So that would be 2 plus delta x squared plus 4 times 2 plus delta x minus 1 minus f of 2. Therefore, we need to substitute 2 to our given function. So we have 2 squared plus 4 times 2 minus 1 over delta x. So the limit as delta x approaches 0. The square of 2 plus delta x is 4 plus 4 delta x plus delta x squared. And then we need to multiply 4 by 2 plus delta x. So we have plus 8 plus 4 delta x minus 1. 2 squared plus 4 by 2 minus 1 is 11. So this would be minus 11 over delta x. So this would be the limit as delta x approaches 0. Simplifying our numerator, we have 4 plus 8 minus 1 minus 11 is 0. So what we have in the numerator would be 4 delta x plus delta x squared plus 4 delta x over delta x. 4 delta x plus 4 delta x is 8 delta x plus delta x squared over delta x. Factoring out delta x from our numerator, we have delta x times 8 plus delta x over delta x. So we can cancel delta x. So we have the limit of 8 plus delta x as delta x approaches 0. So evaluating, we can have f prime of 2 is equal to, if we substitute 0 to delta x, what we have is 8 plus 0, and that would be 8. Therefore, the slope of the tangent line at x is equal to 2 is 8. So let us identify the derivative at negative 1 of the function 3x squared plus 2. So remember that by the definition of the derivative, this would be our equation. So to get the slope at negative 1 for this particular function, we're going to get the limit of f of negative 1 plus delta x minus f of negative 1 over delta x as delta x approaches 0. So let us have f prime of negative 1. So this would be the limit as delta x approaches 0. So let us now substitute negative 1 plus delta x to 
the variable x in our function. So we have 3 times negative 1 plus delta x squared plus 2 minus our f of negative 1. So we have to substitute negative 1 to the given function plus 2 over delta x. This would be the square of negative 1 plus delta x. So to do that, we would be having 1 minus 2 delta x plus delta x squared plus 2 minus f of negative 1. This would be negative 1 squared is positive 1 times 3 is positive 3 plus 2 would be 5. So this would be 5 over delta x. Let us multiply 3 to the inside function here. So we have 3 minus 6 delta x plus 3 delta x squared plus 2 minus 5. That would be negative 3. So let's have this as negative 3 over delta x. So we can cancel 3. What's left would be negative 6 delta x plus 3 delta x squared over delta x. And factoring out delta x, in the numerator we have delta x times negative 6 plus 3 delta x over delta x. So we can now cancel delta x. So what we have is the limit of negative 6 plus 3 delta x as delta x approaches 0. So substituting 0 to our delta x, we have negative 6 plus 3 times 0. Therefore, f prime of negative 1 is equal to negative 6, or the slope of the given function at x is equal to negative 1 is negative 6.